Yeah, this game looks pretty interesting, Eerie. I've only played... I've only played, like, the first world and maybe one level of the second. So... Just to preface, like... I didn't like the experience too much, but... I want to try to at least beat it and see. Make an... Make an honest effort to get through the game. Also, hello and good morning. Let me know if the game is too loud. Do you still hear it? Maybe my TV. Yeah, let me know if the echo comes back. Yeah. Rewatch the intro. Because now we have lore. Good question. It's a little weird. It's a hovering magician's box. Wow. That is a very, uh, not good picture of Arrow. Here for the lore. Morning, Claude. Well, I'm here to see all the lore, too. Arrow's adventures begin. Also, the really weird thing about this game is that it's, like, you'll see, like, a border around the game feed. I did not change the cropping. This game is naturally cropped, like, in a weird way. It has borders around it. So, I don't know what the hell the deal with that is, but... Hello, hometown honey badger. Morning. And again, just a preface for everyone, I have played the first world in this game, 
and like briefly part of the second world. So gave up though. I think because I ran out of time, but. What's up, Morning Sig? What's going on? So, is this really a better story than Elden Ring? Maybe I'll get to that game eventually in 2040. Yeah, I think they realized the timer didn't do anything, but let you know how slow you were going. So I said this before too, is I didn't really like the aesthetics of this game, or at least of the level. Oh god. At least those are easier to use. Hold on. The uh, speedrun of this game is a lot different, because, uh, there's, like, a ton of, a ton of zips. Look at that, they have percentages. 63. Now you can actually 100% the game. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Elden Ring. I've actually heard people complain that it's too open world. I don't know what people want these days. They want open world and they get it and now they don't want it. Make up your mind. Breath of the Wild was such a good idea that every studio is going to do it now. Look at that, the blue bat! Oh, this is that thing that gives you life infinitely. What's up, Dr. Blue? One thing that's weird as well is that it has this down drill. Which I thought was pretty cool. It's weird, but it's cool. Oh, it only stuns him. Okay. Let's make the stars even more useless in this game. That's a double drill. Oh, I got my spinning arrowhead. They give this thing a timer. Why would they do such a thing? So fast, I feel like Sonic. I, I try I try to play newer games sometimes. It's just, I don't have like a new age console, and I definitely don't feel like going out of my way to get one yet. I think the newest thing I've played <laughs> is actually Halo Infinite. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many cogs, I forgot. Oh, 
we're just doing the whole climb, I guess. Alright, this is harder than it looks, I promise. Ah, uh, you don't have to jump. I, I've been had. I don't want to die. I played 3D All Stars, yeah. Those are just all remakes. How hard is it to get platinum in those games these days? I mean, achievements ruin every game. It's because they give you, like, the. Most games have achievements that take infinite time to get. I used to like doing like all the achievements in some games, but then I would realize it wasn't a good idea. Oh, I get it. This this bell castle's at the sunset. point of collecting all these if I'm not going to use them. Yeah. I mean, I do my best to, to be a completionist in some ways when I do casual playthroughs, but I do have my limits. It definitely doesn't need to be a chore, like you said. But if it feels like a chore, it's definitely not worth it. I know it's barely legal to have fun in video games, but if you're just having a little fun, it's okay. Why do I only have one life? I didn't die at all, did I? What the hell? I didn't even die. How did I lose... How did I lose life? What the hell are those two things? I'm collecting Kong letters now? I don't even remember finding those before. I'm not crazy, right? I had... I didn't die at all, so far. You'd think they give you more than one life to start with. Oh man, look at that. I started with zero? What? Is that normal? Oh, cool, I'm on my last life already. Forgot about this part. That's not good. Why would it start me with no lives? I don't remember that happening last time. Spanda. Sorry, someone beat your PB.
Krypton's a true grinder. Oh, flying up here. Oh yeah, chance time. life, which I'm going to lose immediately somewhere. I wonder if I let the I wonder if I let the demo play too long <laughs> and like wasted all my lives. Thing that I did differently. One thing I can honestly say already about this game, and I said this last time, is the music is not very memorable. Jeez. Back to the start. Kinda like elevator music. The game is half half the volume. Can you give me an extra life here? That's so weird. I'm pretty sure the last time I played this that didn't happen. No deal. Well, I didn't get all the Kong letters. Didn't know we were even making deals. Oh yeah, here's the weird lore. Those are like furries. What's up, Squilly Bob? Crossfit Jesus. Can't believe I'm doing this whole quest just for a kiss. Remember the password. We'll use modern technology to write it down by taking a picture with my phone. to go snowboarding as Arrow the Acrobat. Except this is my last life, so I'm not expecting to get very far. At least this this seems very forgiving at least. Oh. 
You can even surf on the water. Oh no. Collected none of the letters. Oh, I'm dead. Well, at least I have continues. Now how many lives does it give me? Oh, three. You know, the normal amount? Okay. I think this game does have limited continues, but it does have passwords and level select, so... I'm not too worried about actually getting a game over. But I thought it was kind of weird, I started with zero lives. I think it couldn't handle the criticism of the... the bat lore. Also, I don't even know how I died there. I feel like I just didn't do anything. Oh. Don't know how I died there either. I guess... You gotta keep jumping. Why is this game so quiet? games that use unlimited continues, um, like Super Mario All-Stars Lost Levels. Even if you game over, you start over from the same stage. The only thing that resets is your precious score, which does absolutely nothing. Okay, I think this is the furthest I've been. What's the point of getting these flags? I'm dead. continue left. Is this gonna put me back at the start of this world? Okay, it doesn't. So arrow one does that. If you if you get a game over, you start over from the first level in that world. Did I lose two life there? That's awesome. I think there's a glitch in the speedrun where you literally skip all three of these stages by jumping really far to the right or something in the very beginning. Oh, look at that, there's an extra life up there that I did not grab. I wasn't ready for an auto-scroller this early in the game. What is this guy doing? Oh, 
I see. Ruining everything. You get the really high jump off those ramps. <laughs> it's a very ugly Lakitu. I didn't get the E this time. I mean, the game looks alright. I don't think it looks too bad. I just think it's overdone in compared to the compared to the first game. But that's just being nitpicky, I think. Ah, oh, I died from the literally the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. It's too hard. I'm gonna waste all my continues on this on the boarding zone. What would eight year old me be able to do here? I don't have the cheat codes yet. Oh no, we're game over already, okay. I'm gonna call this a little bit unfair, because I started with zero lives, but... Alright. Cheat codes. Go to the options and play the songs in this order. This is just like Sonic. Now I'm a little skeptical. Okay, now start the game and press pause and then down A, L, and R together. Yeah! Yeah, the resolution's like wider. I think it's like 320, and I think for Super Nintendo it's 256 or something. So you do see more. Oh, wait, what am I pressing? Wait, what am I pressing? Oh, it's down A. There we go. Look at that, cheating. Oh, there's a bonus stage. Spoilers. Yeah, it's 256. So Genesis has like the 320 resolution. Oh my god. It's it's so hard. Like a What's up, Willie? Thanks for the good luck. I'll need it, because I can't even get past the first part of this stage. Oh, I missed the checkpoint, too. We don't need it. Yes, we do. Yeah, this is kind of hard, but, you know. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Badokos, thanks for the raid. How did your speedruns go? No 
point getting the checkpoint this time. I'm dead. Doing my best to try to memorize the level, but it's just all snow and food and flags. There's my extra life that I can never reach. Oh, this guy's back. Please don't kill me. I'm dead. What's up, Pop Pop Loops, Devil Hunter, Gar Garland, hello and welcome. Did you get your 39? Or are you close? I know you're, I knew you're already close, because you have like a 40 flat. Oh my god. I make that mistake every time. <laughs> uh, there is an infinite lives cheat, I think. I'll have to look. It's it's harder than it looks, I promise. I'm trying to like jump when I think I should be pressing jump. It, but you're not you're definitely not supposed to press it too early, I guess. Like I'm pressing it and he's not jumping. Probably because he's like landing and like Oh dang dude. Definitely been there. the life. I grabbed everything else but the life. I think I could beat this without infinite lives. Let me give myself a little credit here. I don't think there's... I think them throwing this right at you so early in the game is pretty crazy. See, like, you naturally want to jump over that rock, so of course you're going to, like, get hit. <laughs> I don't know what, what else to do there. You get to jump over the rock, you're gonna hit the spikes. And then you can't jump. I'm hoping this is the only auto-scroller in this in this entire game. Pulling set of auto-scrollers. Dude, I swear I swear to god I'm jumping. I'm putting on the input display so I don't look like a liar. This is crazy. This is so hard. So I know for a fact in the speedrun, all three of these stages can be skipped with a glitch by like jumping to the end of the screen at the start of the level. So you don't even have to deal with this shit. Yeah, ye. Whatever that means. Alright, what is it? Down. Okay. Warden zone. Well, I guess this is kind of like the original arrow of the acrobat, where 
It is actually pretty hard, casually. Especially the state specific stages, like roller coaster, the barrel level, the the rotor stage. Okay, I somehow made it past that in one life. It's progress. But then I just ran into a rock. This lab is when you've been snowboarding all day. It's already night. Just gets worse. Is this is the snowball gonna just? Yep. Figured that was gonna happen. Ow. Cool. Really hope I'm towards the end of this stage. I'm gonna go ahead and argue that I went through that extra life. You- you- what the fuck are you supposed to do here? Oh wait, I have another ability? I can wipe out on purpose? Hold on. I didn't realize I could press other buttons here. Please be. The end. Never mind. No, I didn't turn it on. I lied and said I was gonna turn it on. I could turn it on, but... If you guys want it on, I'll turn it on for sure. Oh! Dude, no. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, so what do these other buttons do? Okay. So you can do tricks in the air, and that seems like an am Oh, you can press R, too. Maybe this is the way to get through the auto-scroller, is just to wipe out on purpose and go slow. This guy's a jerk. I mean, it's a little bit unforgiving. I think we can. I think we can all agree here, right? This is pretty unforgiving. I'm getting, I'm getting punished for not being able to see in front of me. I mean, I could just pause buffer through the whole thing. My land 2 training. Oh yeah, it was pause buffering, wasn't it? Imagine buying this game as a kid and being absolutely furious when you make it here in Game Over. Doesn't matter because when you press jump, it doesn't work. What do the flags do? Do they do anything? It's also really annoying that it's hard to see those little things in the ground that just pop up. It's 
is a bat's worst nightmare. Pause my frame, messed everything up actually. I keep missing that checkpoint too, which is not good. jump over that thing. What was that? I didn't even see what that item was. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is the longest level ever. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I didn't learn much from that training. It was more just being upset at the game. Ooh, we snowboarded so far away from the circus. Surprise arrow's not all bloodied up from all those hits he took. Wait, so why... I don't understand. Wasn't she escaped from this place? Why'd she go back? Did I miss that part? Really no point doing the password, I guess. Why am I questioning the lore? Well, it needs to at least make some sense. It already doesn't make much, but... I've seen this level before in the speedrun. You just jump in here. And you zip up to the top. You, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but anyway. Play this the real way. Probably gonna game over though, because I have no lives. But at least I'm playing a normal stage makes me happy. I haven't fought any bosses yet. What's all this? Oh, there's secrets. There's a fat guy harassing me here. What is this? Okay. See that. Oh, there's plenty of food over here. Look at that. Oh, it's a cannon. Remember these? They work the same way, it looks like. Right, that was... See how much easier that was than an auto-scroller?
Yeah, it looks like all sauce on the pizza. I used to know someone who liked pizza like that. They definitely were not trustworthy. Just kidding. Well, we haven't gotten to that part of the lore on why there's no cheese in this game. Oh, they put an extra life up here. They knew. But it looks kind of unreachable. Of course it is. It's pretty rude to just do something like this. trampolines back. Thank you. Felt like that's what this game was missing. Answer me this, though. How do I get this extra life? just put a bunch of stuff over here and expect me to not be able to get it. It's kind of rude. Well, I guess I have to accept it. Good morning, stuff. Ah! As you can see, I have found a glitch. Oh, can't hit this guy. Didn't think the stars would do anything. They don't do anything ever. Whoa! Wait, how did I get hit there? What hit me? I do like some of the food upgrades. Big fan of the cheeseburger. Wait, there's cheese on the cheeseburger. This is, a, this is really weird. I promise. Places arrow can get stuck. We're a long way from long way from the circus. Did we ever think Arrow would ever be out here at Fort Red Star? Oh, look at that. An extra life. I need that. Of course, this one little piece of geometry, or whatever you want to call it, is not able to be stepped on. And they really put the lives in like the most unreachable places. At least in Arrow One, you can you can actually get the lives. Unless there's an ability that I'm just not aware of, but I don't think I don't think so. I unfortunately don't have the instructions for this game. Doing all this work to get stars in order to get hit and to not even use them. I'm dead.
Oh boy. Well, I mean, I did get that far without losing a life, so I can't really be mad. Level select will save everything. Fort Red Star, Sage 2, I think, right? Alright, it's not gonna fight everything, I'm just gonna make my way through. game skips everything. There's too much shit. Or speedrun, I should say. Cheeseburger. What's over here? Oh. This again. There's literally nothing over here. Then maybe that's how you get the extra life. I'm determined. I'm gonna get this life. There's gotta be a way to get it. Never mind. There's not a way. I'm not determined anymore. I'm about to watch one of those Let's Plays on, uh, on YouTube. You know those guys who, like, collect everything and never die? This is tool assisted. Maybe that's the answer. Oh, drill down on the trampoline? That's a good call out. I'll try this one thing. physics should work, right? I like how they encourage you to kind of go in those nooks and crannies in the walls. Only to show that you can get stuck. Anyway. I don't think I've gotten this far yet. There's gotta be something I'm not doing. Like, how do they put this stuff so high up? What if I bounce? Maybe you get extra height? I don't know. Wait, maybe? What if that's not pizza? Hang on. What if that's pie? I need to confirm this. Oh my god. 
I went up there to get life, only to die because I had one life. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Those things are so funny. That's... There's a couple runs. What is it? what is it that I saw? There was like a there's an action 52 like playthrough on there, and some of those games are literally impossible, and they're all like frame perfect jumps in some of those games. Oh, I haven't played that Bomberman either. I've actually played Bomberman 64. Kind of want to play it again. I don't think I beat it, but I did like it. I think that game's kind of rare, too. I remember finding a cart and I wanted to buy it, but it was I think it was like over $200. Uh, I don't know if it's worth buying. Okay. Okay. Another extra life, unobtainable. This is a really long level. I'm glad it's finally over. E. Man, this music is just not, it's just not here. I even put a Dancing Kevin gif and was hoping that that would turn things up a little bit, but... I don't even think Dancing Kevin can dance to this. Or maybe he can, I don't know. It's just so weird, this is a Sunsoft game. Usually they have a ton of bangers. Like, Tasmania is not the greatest game, but that game has some bangers. Oh, I see. You know, there was an invisible thing there. Just jumped over it. See what's over here. Oh, there's two lives. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, man. But how do you get them? We'll never know. Because it's impossible. I have a feeling you're like maybe supposed to like bait the bot or bait that enemy over there, maybe jump on top of him. I don't know if the enemy follows you or not. Whoa. Unexpected movement. Maybe that's why the speedrun is so popular, you skip the entire game. I think, like... I think Lucify is gonna learn this game. 
interested to see him take it on. I don't think I'm gonna learn this one though. It's not as. At least. At least not now. Oh god. My last life. There's an E. I haven't gotten all the all the letters yet. What is I wonder I wonder what it does when you get all the letters. I got I got all the letters, I think. Oh boy. Arrow does some weird stuff when he's just standing there. Oh, there was a platform there. Okay, cool. I didn't see it. Am I jumping blindly? Yep, I'm dead. Yippee. Put all this like life stuff. Oh shit! I didn't even know you could do that. So I actually didn't break break that open before. It was just like drilled into it. Can you guys come over here? No. Can't help me get these lives. I'm gonna go with no. It's unfortunate. Truly a clown game. What's up, PRS? This one seems more clown than usual, for sure. Not a lot of clowns to kill, though. Again, we're pretty, pretty far from the circus. Oh, see? Secret. Is it just that, though? Is it really... Okay, extra life. Oh, I see. You just go through the lives when you have iframes. I see. Yeah, that was a really good thing to program. That had to have been intentional. You don't go through anything else but the lives. That explains why I was missing them in that snowboarding stage. Yeah, I know. Well, if I beat this game in time, I'll play Batman. How's that sound? What time is it? 7.30? I think we got a lot of time. Maybe. I don't know how much harder this game gets. Got the A. I'm getting all the letters just to see what it, what it does. Anybody want to take bets on what it does? I'm gonna go with Extra Life. Batman does enjoy beating up clones. We're gonna go with fireworks, okay. Okay, so I have to look where this- yeah, look at that, it's off screen. Oh, 
gotta get back on this thing. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. At least the spikes don't kill you in one hit in this game. Oh, I see. Tricky there. Uh, okay, well that was bullshit, dude. <laughs> I jumped, I swear. That was so savage. They put that thing there so you could jump up there and intentionally get stuck, and then your jump gets eaten when you land on the platform. Snowballs. My arrow, tr arrow one training has done nothing for this game. Oh, look, there! I was able to get that life because they put stuff there. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't know. I didn't know we were at the speed run. It's kind of weird. It's crazy they put all these, like, life things behind so many enemies. Like, really? Look, look at that. Why would they do that? You think I'm really gonna go for that? That's what that is, it's a bonus thing. Those were in the first game. Those, like, unlock the bonus level. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's ungettable. Like, you can't get over there, there's no way to get it. It's just a big tease like everything else. Oh wait, there's a cannon over there. I'm desperate. I just want to see what it is. What? Dude, I couldn't move! Okay, so these guys I can kill. This is fun. So, to, to get over here, you just get more, more of these. Oh, what's this? Okay. Good with that. Doesn't answer the question of how to get over there. There's gotta be a way, right? I'm so desperate. We're too far away now. 
this walkthrough. Seems very super secretive. What's over here? Wait, wait. Nothing. Right. We'll never know what the bonus level looks like. Alright, what's, what's the arrow thing do? Let's see. Oh, 100%? I got everything? What's my deal? Free man. Play Ector. What is that? What does that mean? Oh, it's this thing. Alright, got a Oscar. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go with the gold thing. I think it was this one. What? Oh man, my eyes have deceived me. He should just flip you off. I lose. I think that's what he said. Uh. Oh, boss, boss time. I had a feeling that was coming. Oh, we're gonna Tony Hawk it up. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is how you hit him. Oh, he has life. Oh, is that how you hit him? Oh, when he's like going down the thing? I see. Simple enough. Oh no, part two? Descent. Oh no, we gotta fight now. What is it? Just making up for all the boss fights I didn't have? Oh no! I'm dead. Don't tell me I have to start all over. Okay. Mm. 
Ah. Uh, avoided all the stalactites. Frozen stalactites. Now is he dead? It's Bat Hoffman? Uh, yeah, that makes things so much better. After this fight, it seems like Arrow ran into this rat drug dealer who gave him some acid. Rick the Rat. He seems like someone who would sell you drugs. Wait, that's his boss? Eastern Europe? Now I have to do the bat's voice in a Eastern European accent. Disco Fever. Is that the name of the next world? I guess so. Apparently you need 12,000 bit rates to see this. It's gonna look really bad on stream, I think. I've seen, uh... Oh my god. Bar Arrow got so high. Oh, the music notes are bad. Oh, these are clowns. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of, uh, nauseating to watch. What's up, X-Dragon? Uh, that seemed like something that would hurt me. Oh, uh, I gotta wait. Okay, I can't jump over it. Wait, so how did Arrow end up here? Was it actually drugs? Is it clown ecstasy? Okay. CDs were such a crazy piece of technology back then. Said. Oh, this is a chance. I thought it was the end of the level. see. Musical puzzle. Luckily, Land 3 has given me good memory skills. Got all the items? So you need 80 to get, like, an extra life, I guess. Bro. I just always forget to shoot the stars. Oh, we got a different type of acid here. This is actually pretty cool. Like, the effects are pretty cool. But this is still very out of... out of place for Arrow. If you ask me. Well, 
but maybe you shouldn't ask me. Oh, whoa, hang on. I just realized you can, like, spam the drill. That's actually really cool. That is something that does not happen in the first game. That is actually a nice improvement. What's up, Master Cat? Thanks for the good luck and good morning. How do I... There... How does this work? Oh, whoa. what? Okay, that's cool. Didn't know that was an ability. Glad they showed me now. Not entirely sure what. Oh, no way, dude. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That is. That's. That's actually sick. <laughs> Disco Donald, dude. No way. This clown looks cool, but disco the disco clown. Ah, oh, I see. That shows me. So what's up, Lumophile? Dude, I like that you can spam the drill. I didn't know that you could do that. It makes it a lot easier. Or something. Parts. Okay. Look at the shoes, dude. I can't. I literally can't. A yo yo. No, he has like a coin. Oh, 
Oh, I did it right. Did I not? Interesting. Nothing. Bonus act. I unlock the bonus level. Finally, I can get some extra lives, maybe. My time my jump's better. This way? This is the most lies I've had in the entire game. So, the one thing that's nice about Arrow 1 is that, like, when you explore the levels, there's usually tons of lives and stuff, like... I feel like this game just doesn't give a shit, dude. Like, like you know, here you go, here's an extra life that I probably am not going to be able to get to here. But let's see if I can slide under it. No. God, these clowns are so good. There's three of them. There's one nice redeeming factor. And I feel like I'm gonna throw up from this staring at the background of the stage. Oh, it's an elevator. Wow. Technology's crazy. The shoes, man, I just, I, I literally can't. Right, metronomes you kind of have to like wait. And look if I told me he game over it a couple times in his playthrough. Now I see why. game is kind of hard. Okay, went the wrong way. Oh no. Oh, what is this guy? What the hell is that, dude?
Hey, yeah, the like, background's getting worse for sure. Like, it, it's cool. Wait, what is that? It's an S. I wonder what the S stands for. Probably never gonna find out because I doubt there's a way to get over there. It's an enemy. I don't believe you. Whatever it is, you can't get to it. And you know why? It's because I wasted my double drill hitting that guy with the target on his back. I think that's why you needed the double drill. I'm dead. Got killed by disco clowns. Chance time. Wait, what? It was on the eighth note? The double drill? I didn't see it. Is that what you're talking about? Wait, what is this, dude? Oh, never mind. Look like it wasn't po Oh, no! I feel like I didn't miss that platform, but... I won't argue. I'm confused. It was, it was, uh, like a, it looked like a flame. Hang on. I'm just gonna go back over there and show you. This thing. Whatever it is, it seems really cool, since they made it really hard to get. Oh man, when you go fast, it like definitely makes you nauseated. And as for parachute, well... Good guess. I have so many stars. to understand the lore on how I got here. I have a feeling they're gonna leave this out of the lore for whatever reason. Now that arrow is past the disco fever zone. For no reason. I 
don't understand. Oh, you come from this way, I see. Oh, look! What is this? Oh, no way! That's so cool. Fire it up. This is exactly what our hero needed. This is pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool ability. Uh, I thought I did. Did I not do that? Maybe I did. I assumed it was nothing. Hmm. It's pretty tough. Need a nice time drill there. You can't even touch the top of the symbol. <sighs> this is the most generous level I've played so far. I've actually been able to obtain the lives that I see. That's a hard one. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I pressed it twice. Spirit phase. He has idle animations, interesting. Whoa, all the stars? No way. There were so many. Yippee. Free man. I did not get all the letters though, I don't think. It was never a deal. Now what? What the hell's going on? Still don't understand how I ended up here. I know, I didn't even count the S. Yes. 
Dr. Dis? Is it Dr. Disrespect by chance? I didn't know he went way back. I, I still don't... Oh, we're going to Dr. Dis Industries. Okay. Experiment. Yeah, it doesn't sound, uh... Doesn't sound friendly. Inspired by DKC1. This is quite the experience. I'm actually happy about this spam drilling. Oh, there's another thingy up there. Unreachable. Wait, actually, hang on. I think I can reach it. Never mind. I don't have time for this. Tasha's waiting for me. Hey. Yeah, fence is in the foreground. Oh. Turns out those things hurt you. I've never guessed. It's like this, kind of like the robot from the first game. This place has CRT TVs everywhere. Wish I would have found this place when I was looking for a TV. Alright, cool. At least they give you a lot more time than the double drill, and this is a double drill too, on top of that. I should just have this to you. What is this? No. Oh, whoa. Okay. I just warped and then it like instantly warped me back. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it gives you, it gives you a double drill as well. That's what's really cool about it. Still not permanent. Permanent double drill is nice. Well, I guess they don't want to do that here. Okay, found the O. Ah, uh, double drill. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
I see, the fan was blowing and it blew me to the screen. Yeah, he has like this, yeah, he has a swag walk. It's a little weird. He seems so snooty in this game. And then, like, when he's just standing there, he just does this. Probably because he's, like, unaware of his surroundings. Okay. Warp. Uh, oh, we're on a boss, okay. Is this Dr. Disrespect? I did! I broke his thing. He was clearly distracted by me. Yeah. Oh, yes. I didn't hear what he said. Okay, let's try to get the gold, I guess. Still don't know what that is, but I don't really care. I think it's this one. Well, I guess I'll find out what that is. Where did I get? What is that? Is it just a thousand points? Oh, it's just a thousand points. Wow. Might as well just not be a prize. You just don't get to hear you lose. Whoa. That's kinda weird. This is kinda this is strange. Dr. Disrespect. Maybe I should just call him Dr. Dis. That's actually not disrespect. But it just makes me think of him, I'm sorry. Oh no. brought this back, the looking around thing. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh! Options. Is 
down here. Man, I hate that they do that. I hate that they do that. It's so annoying. It's like, here's your thing, but you gotta go all the way around to really take advantage of it. Well, the double drill didn't work that time. Not surprised at all. Wait, what the fuck? Why? The double drill doesn't work when you're jumping from a rope. That's... That's good stuff. Okay, man, that's kind of bullshit. I was waiting for him to come back, but... Oh, I, I thought this was a... Wow. That was my fault, I guess. Thought it was a pit. I didn't know you could walk on that. Looks deceiving. sure the gold thing is just an extra life. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Oh my 
my god. It's kind of tricky. Where's... Oh, please tell me there's a checkpoint. Oh. Chance? Am I gonna die when I leave the chance thing? Because I'm gonna get dropped into the. Dropped into the buzzing of the electric stuff. Oh, free man. Tell me to go this way. Well, what was I supposed to do? The arrows deceived me. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. It's like, oh, you want this chance? Yeah, well. There's three of these up here. Sacrifice. Oh no, he has another contraption. Oh no, what is this one? No, it's just a ball. Two hits, that's all I can do. <laughs> he had to get me at least once. seen an explosion in this game. That was only Act 2. Welcome. I'm gonna try my best to get it this time. I think it's the middle. It's never the right one. There might be something else happening. I swear I saw that. <sighs> Maybe I'm just bad. Alright, I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Oh, you tracked it in the middle too. I wonder if they like when they highlight they swap.
All right. That's so dumb, dude. <laughs> You're like expected to take damage, I guess. I guess I shouldn't have worried about- I should have just ignored those stars. Clearly my fault. makes the noises he makes in Arrow 1. He does kind of sound like a weird cat when he gets hit. Almost sounds like a cat. But the Yowch thing is definitely like... You would think that's what he would sound like. Wow. Nice. Voice at its style, I see what Yeah, I feel like they could have probably, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain why the first one's nice. Other than, oh shit, I didn't know I had this. The only way to describe it is that this game just feels way over polished for what Arrow 1 was. And I feel like they re maybe felt compelled to overproduce this one. But his vo- well, the voice thing does kind of throw me off, if you think about it. Like, why does he sound like this? I feel like he shouldn't sound like this. Maybe I'm wrong. He just looks too, like, confident to sound like that, you know? I mean, this isn't, like, a terrible game. I don't want to, like, make it sound like I'm just shitting on it. I think the platforming aspects are pretty good overall. At least so far. There's BS, but I mean, I do like some of the upgrades they've made.
Seth Green should play Arrow the Acrobat. Okay. Well, we don't need to make a movie of this game. I think I'm fine without an Arrow movie. <laughs> Character premise is great, though. Like, I think the whole, like, idea of the game is great. Like, I like the idea of the him being an acrobat, being in the circus, fighting clowns, like, all that stuff's really cool. Like, this game doesn't do any of that, though. Well, I mean, it kind of does, but... You would... I don't know. I guess the game has to go somewhere else, right? It can't just be in the circus forever. Although, I'd be okay with that. That's just me. The vision for Arrow is just different. Oh wait, I can walk on this, right? Okay. This is very hard to jump through. This is acid. I don't know if I'm supposed to step on that or not. I'm starting to get a little concerned because I have one life left. And I think, like, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of hard moving forward, I think. Oh, there's another one. Cool. I made a good play there. Yeah, I mean, Arrow 1 had BS, some BS enemies too. Wasn't really expecting this game to be super easy or anything, like, there's just some BS parts, like, the, the snowboarding was definitely BS. I think that just wasn't done well enough. Oh my god. Sacrificing everything for one life. collected any of this stuff yet, so probably not. Kind of afraid of what's coming here. I'm waiting for this curveball. Oh, no curveball. Okay. That's, that's bullshit, dude. Get out of here with that. Oh yeah, here's some here's some maze. I know you can't see the bottom though. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna like die. Those are instant death, by the way. Okay. 
threw another curveball at me. Those things don't instantly kill you. Oh, see. All right. This level never ends. Dude, that's too fucking hard. I can't react to that shit. That was scary. I'm scared to run. Oh my god. Okay. What kind of contraption do we have now? Oh, okay. Dead. Alright. This one's interesting. I don't know when it's vulnerable. Like, that's the problem. Like, I have no idea when it's vulnerable. I'm just taking a wild guess here. Like, you would think it'd be vulnerable here. See, now it's vulnerable. Is it just when this guy's not pressing anything? Maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I see. When he's doing shit, he can't can't mess can't mess around. Okay, I understand. I understand. Dude, oh well, now you now you can't double drill when you're fighting a boss. I didn't even think about that. I realized it like very last minute. What's up, Zelma? Yippee! Hooping. Well, look at this guy. What Tasha said you would come. Red Imbecile. Vitness. Oh, he's one of those doctors. Oh. 
Shadow the Acrobat. Oh, it's Mewtwo. Never mind. Oh, I see. Tricky. I don't know what he's gonna fucking do. Yippee. Yippee. Ariel? Oh, I didn't even notice. Wait a minute, that's the piece of bat that Patasha stole, isn't it? I see how the lore is coming together now. Oh, I didn't even notice he said that. What the hell? Look. It's hard to pay attention to this lore, okay? It's really hard for me to get into this. I've already had to accept the fact that I'm doing this just for a kiss. Dude, what in the actual fuck? It's really hard to, like, avoid this. And then be ready to hit him right after. Oh. Well, it was a pretty big piece of bat, or bat wing. Oh, I forgot he was phase two. Oh, I see the CGI now. That's cool. Makes the lore so much deeper. I... I can't stand this shit. Is this pattern the same? Like... Pretty rough. Yeah. So this thing is bad. And then I'm dead. Cause he just does it twice in a row. Oh no! 
I've run out of continues. Yeah, I stopped paying attention when he was doing the... The, like, weird accent thing. I was like, I, I can't. But I appreciate you all paying attention for me. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's A. Disco Fever, Dr. Dis. Boss stage. How many lives do you get? Well, I'm not watching that again. I've been filled in already by the chat. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you just pause it and just do it. Okay. Down drill, I think it makes it a little easier. Go ahead and grab me. Phase two. I think there's probably a phase three. We haven't even reached the top of the tower yet. Like hovers over you and just keeps hitting you. Is he dead this time? I was almost dead too. I'll go to the bonus and farm lives. I see. Well. We haven't come that far yet. She's the least of my worries. Understand that right? Okay. Alright, this time I paid attention. What's up, Glenn? This looks literally like the first world. going on here. Oh. We 
We don't need. Wow, they made the lava look so... Lava-like. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think this is World 6, maybe? At this point? I probably shouldn't be doing this with zero lives, by the way. Probably should've just took the, took the game over. Oh, this is interesting. Feels so 3D-like. Thanks, Eon. Hello and good morning. It was for one life? You think you could have gave me maybe two? Three would have been expected, but I, I would have taken two. Seems like a lot of work for one life. Wasting a nice- oh, what the hell? Dude, what is that? Oh no. Okay. Scared. Yes, yeah, so it was Dr. Disrespect. But he's. He's still alive, so. Oh my god! It's not as cool as the disco clowns. I don't know who that guy is, but I'm staying away from him. Sounds like it's really off key for some reason. What is this? What was this for? Wait, was this not here before? It wasn't. Looks like Shrek, but I think <laughs> I think it's actually the final boss. We did play Shrek yesterday. There was a fighting game we played on the Game Boy. Which fun fact plays better than Mortal Kombat 4. track that sounds decent so far. Mm. You know, putting that platform there is not a good idea. Here. 
Yeah, I forgot what the name of the Shrek game was, but I think it's the only Shrek Game Boy game, so it shouldn't be hard to find. I thought it was absolutely hilarious, though. life. Oh, I see. I didn't catch that the first time. I guess another thing I feel like this game is missing, and maybe it's just me. Someone please verify, but I feel like up until this point there hasn't been a lot of good platforming. Like it doesn't feel like Era 1 where there's like a lot of levels where there's some good platforming. I feel like this is probably the only point where I feel like it's being... Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Oh no. I mean, this is... Well, I said the best so far. This is like the best so far. I'll show the Disco Clowns after I finish. I really want to finish the game if possible. And then never, never have to look back. I'm really going to watch the speedrun probably later today. Because now, now I can understand what is being skipped. I think it's sad to say this, but I feel like the gimmicks in in Arrow One make it make it a lot more fun. I think every stage had its own little gimmick. I think I forgot the A, so there's no point grabbing this. This is the first time it's felt kind of platformy, I guess. I don't know.
knew there was something up there, but I guess I've seen things. See what opened. This. Oh. I was just seeing if there's something else. Sorry. Pressing it way too soon. There we go. What? Oh, come on, man. Look at that. That shot me higher and it looked like it was lower. Worst type of like thing that can happen. They're notorious for putting stuff like that everywhere in this game. the end. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Yeah, I don't know how many worlds there are. I knew there was more than... I'm guessing I'm coming towards the end at this point.
I didn't learn my lesson the first time, I just thought it was a platform again. Yeah, I feel like they just kinda... Like with these, these again, the platforming is a little bit better in these stages so far. But all they did was like, yeah, they just kind of added backtracking. Oh man. This guy's interesting. Music is just so like bland, you know. Felt like I was jamming out as I was getting to the end of Era One. Guitar riffs, everything. Here it just seems like it's like spa music for most stages. Some of it's okay. Like one of the stages had good music. I think it was the last one. No, they set the standard pretty high with Arrow 1 music. get a lot of points in this game, I realize that. Like, the, the pickups only give you double digits. Platformer? No. I don't think I've ever played that. Oh. That hurts. I'm just not like really interested in grabbing any of these pickups because they don't do anything. Except give you 100% at the end of the stage. It's not a 100% speed run. Or casual run, for that matter. Okay, where's this one? Famous, but thanks for asking. Oh, it's this way. Should have known. It's always a secret. Ah, oh, please go away. There's two of them. Ah, 
I hate that. Yeah, I saw that, but I didn't feel compelled to go back. I have less than an hour, so I wanna... What? What is this? Flappy? Wait, is this his crew? down and checked for the body, but you didn't. Instead, you went exploring into the museum. Yeah, this is pretty, this is this is why it's like really hard for me to like follow this. It's just it's just kind of cheesy. I I understand some people like this, but I'm just like ugh. didn't know this was going to turn into an anime. I think what I don't understand about this, and someone clarify who's been paying better attention to this than me, but if I remember correctly, didn't she escape? That's what I was thinking, like maybe, maybe she's just a spy. I mean, I had a feeling. I mean, it was, I mean, yeah, it was, it was obvious in the beginning, yes, yes. I guess what I didn't understand was... I thought it was maybe the same bat from the first game, but clearly it isn't. She's not a performer. This is the last level. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it is. 
an auto scroller, nice, but at least it's a, a pace that I can handle. Look at these clowns. That's what I mean, it gives me the SMB3 vibes. God. I mean, I only had one, I had no lives going into this, so I'm not gonna be surprised if I game over here. It's like every time I get, every time I get life, I lose it instantly. this You get the lives. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Instantly got hit. Hey, thanks, Dark Cool Guy. Game over. Alright, I think I think we can do this. The clowns look like Scruffy from Future. Yeah, that I was trying to like. I was trying to like pinpoint who they look like. And boss stage, right? No, not watching the anime again. I gotta say, it, I'm guessing this has to be the last level. I mean, it's obvious. Um, this is nowhere compared to Arrow 1's final level. Like, at all. This is a very unsatisfying ending to, the, to a game.
Yeah, I guess I should shoot some stars, huh? I mean, the level's cool, but I mean, if this is the last level, I mean, come on. Oh, that's how you get the life, except, you know, you gotta be standing literally on top of that. Kamikaze Squirrel got a spin-off game. It's too hard to avoid this shit, dude. to get through this. Especially when the enemies come back and the, the life pickups don't. disagree with that. Yeah, this does sound like NCIS. What's up, Tanuki Dan? You can't destroy it. You can't destroy the cannons. Yeah, you're screwed. So the, the pickups don't come back. The enemies do. So now I gotta get all the way to the other side without getting hit more than three times. This is too rough. Especially with this balloon part. There's balloons and bats. Like, there's, there's no way. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, Arrow has that same stupid thing he does in the first game. Except it's more animated. One, one health again.
maybe the... Maybe I try killing the bats. Maybe they don't come back, because I don't see those other guys. be an easy way to avoid those. Oh shit, man. You can't, you can't do anything but get hit by the bats. Do stay dead. It's too hard. There's like no way. There's just too many enemies. And then that is bullshit. I swear to God. It's like you just you always get hit there. Standing on the bombs is actually safe.
guys are good. Of course, man. Well, now that I know, I don't have to avoid the actual explosion. That's definitely helpful. Please, dude, where is the fucking checkpoint? This is so long. Oh, there it is. squashed by the auto scroller. What am I getting hit by? It, are those hurting me? Like, where's the bats? Like, I don't understand. Oh my god, dude! I don't even know if I like if I get to the boss. Like, what am I gonna do? even grab the, the life. Oh my god. This is so long. Oh my god. Dude! Getting too greedy, I guess. I should have just relaxed.
does for now, I guess. Well, I'm never gonna see him again. Okay. Is this him? I guess so. Thanks for giving me those. Appreciate it. Really helps. Oh, it's the same arrow from the first game. Wow. Dude, he keeps getting life back. Did I kill him? Is that it? That's it? The stage was harder than the boss. What's up, Nirvana? MG. Sorry if I missed anyone. I was like trying not to fucking die here. All right. Wow. Plan B was a failure. I wonder what it was. Oh, he went to America. Natasha returned, was deported to, to Eastern Europe. Wow. Wherever, what, what's his homeland? Where is Zero from? What a game. Well, I gotta say... The game's okay. It's not... great. And it's not, like, the worst. Definitely in the middle. Very indifferent. Definitely could have done without the lore. I thought it was a little cheesy. It was really hard to follow because it was so boring. I think I would have been fine with like a very generic storyline like in the first game. There's actually no dialogue in the first game. You only know what's going on because of the instruction manual.
I guess they felt this game needed a lot more production value. I don't think it did. I think they should have just stuck to the core platforming that made the first game great. Seems like a lot of the same people from the first game. I don't know. I was always kind of excited to play this game. Because I, I loved the first game so much, and I didn't get a copy of this until much later in life. And it wasn't enticing for me enough to even play through it at first, so this was literally the first time I've played through it and beat it. Though we had to use cheats to use level select, but that's just how it goes. I don't know. No, I don't think that. I don't ever like the train's the train's bad, but it's one of those things where it's just a memory thing. It's an auto scroller. I'm sure the train's straightforward when you're speedrunning it. I don't know if I'll run the game though. Oh yeah, I'll check the bonuses real quick. Oh yeah, and the Disco Clowns. Who didn't see the Disco Clowns? And who wants to see the Disco Clowns? Nah, I'm good on doing the final stage again. Oh, this is the bonus. Or not final, the castle bonus this is the first bonus that you get. I was supposed to press a button. This is maybe sick. I didn't even mean to do that. It's like, okay. I get it, but do I really have to keep playing this? This is the first bonus in the game. Let me just remind you. I'm good on that. Try board in zone. Oh, there's a bonus stage in that shit. Oh no. $10 says I die right away.
There was a bonus thing, I think I did see it. Hopefully there's no obstacles. Look at me go. Oh, you get points or something for that. I don't know. The two came over my head when I did the trick. Uh, ain't shit. I don't think anyone's gonna go for the 100% arrow two. Just like arrow one. Okay, that wasn't too bad, and it wasn't bad because there was no obstacles. Oh no, thank you. Or red star bonus. Okay. I mean, the first game has that too, except they just count it. I think that's how you get a perfect round: is you kill everything. This looks like a trampoline factory. It's the first time I've heard that noise in the entire game. How have I not heard it before? Dude, they love this. They love fucking flinging you around everywhere. Yeah, I think the main issue with the game was is I felt like it didn't have enough gimmicks. Every world felt like the same. I'll just do this. Alright, Disco, we saw that one. There's Doctor. Oh, both. Of them. Every single one of these has a bonus. Like, listen to this song, and then immediately think about the the, the roller coaster stage music in Era 1. Okay, 
Yeah, this one's just a, a mudslide, I guess. Yep, that's it. That's all Arrow 2 has to offer. Well, I appreciate you all watching. Now I can finally put this to rest. Um, tomorrow. I'll probably do something else casual. Um, I'm gonna probably do Chinese Link to the Past again. I just need to find a way to get the copy of the game. So. Wake of Garfield. Is that actually a game? Anyway. Kinda just wanted to do a Chinese Link to the Past playthrough again, because it, it was fun, and it has a lot of funny stuff in it, so I think it'd be good. Oh, it's a Famicom title. It's Jap Wait, is this only released in Japan? Oh, cool kids played this? Oh, I've seen this game. Yes. Yes, I have seen- now that I see the screenshots, I have seen this game before. Bet all? I'll bet all. back to zero. Nice run. Alright. Alright, go watch Eerie. Um... He's on his quest to get 20 123s in 30 days. He is halfway there and he's on his 17th day. So Go cheer him on. Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a surprise. It'll either be Chinese Link to the Past or it'll be something else. While I work on whatever I'm gonna work on next. Which also hasn't been fully decided. Kind of decompressing this week. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next, Ario. Arrow. Ario. Aro. Just kidding, it's the last game.